Today's topic is concussion. A concussion is a mild form of traumatic brain injury that temporarily affects brain functioning. Concussion results in the sudden onset of neurological symptoms that resolve spontaneously over a varying period of time. It is the most common type of traumatic brain injury, and it commonly affects males and young adults. Concussions are usually not life-threatening, but they can cause severe symptoms that require medical treatment. Concussions are common if you play a contact sport, such as football. Most people usually recover fully after a concussion episode. Causes A concussion is caused by a sudden, violent blow or jolt to the head, or any injury that disrupts normal brain function. The cerebrospinal fluid around the brain acts as a cushion for the brain. This fluid is located inside the skull and provides basic mechanical and immunological protection to the brain inside the skull. A violent blow or jolt to the head can push the brain to slide forcefully against the inner walls of the skull, leading to a brain injury. This can also happen with sudden acceleration or deceleration, as seen in car accidents or when your upper body and head are shaken. This impact can temporarily affect brain function. In some cases, the impact can also cause intracerebral hemorrhage or bleeding into the brain, or subarachnoid or subdural hemorrhage, bleeding around the brain. If not recognized and treated quickly, this bleeding can be fatal. This is why anyone who suffers a brain injury needs monitoring in the hours after the incidents and emergency care if symptoms worsen. Risk factors may include participating in high-risk sports with proper supervision and safety management, being involved in a car, pedestrian, or bicycle accident, being a victim of physical abuse, falling, especially in young children and older adults, participating in contact sports such as football, rugby, boxing, hockey, and soccer, being a soldier involved in combat, a history of concussion. Symptoms. Symptoms may be subtle and may not come up immediately. They can last for hours, days, weeks, or even longer. They may include dizziness, nausea, vomiting, slurred speech, temporary loss of consciousness, a headache, ringing in the ears, fatigue, appearing dazed, Delayed response to questions. Confusion. Other symptoms may be delayed for hours and may include disorders of taste and smell, sleep disturbances, sensitivity to light and noise, concentration and memory complaints, psychological problems such as depression, irritability, and other personality changes. Symptoms in children may include Lack of interest in favorite toys, appearing dazed, excessive crying, change in eating or sleeping patterns, tiring easily, loss of balance and unsteady walking. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will ask questions about how the injury happened and symptoms, review your medical history, and carry out a neurological examination. A neurological examination is used to check vision, reflexes, strength and sensation, coordination, hearing, balance. During a neurological examination, the doctor may carry out several tests to evaluate your cognitive skills. Testing may evaluate several factors, including memory, the ability to recall information, concentration, Imaging tests, such as MRI, to diagnose complications after a concussion or identify changes in your brain. A cranial CT scan to assess the brain after injury is also used. Treatment. The most appropriate way to allow the brain to recover from a concussion is rest.
to recover from a concussion, your doctor will recommend both physical and mental rest. This may imply avoiding activities that increase symptoms, such as sports, vigorous movements, or anything that requires physical exertion. This rest may also include limiting cognitive activities, such as playing video games, thinking, watching TV, reading, using a computer, texting, schoolwork, if they trigger symptoms or worsen them. Your doctor will inform you when you're completely fit to return to both physical and mental tasks. For headaches, medications such as acetaminophen should be taken. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.